hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for today so yesterday we created the video for how to manually update your android 14 basis super heroes extended version as you got it another update for super heroes extended on 25th of february 2024 and i promised i will do its in-depth review so today in this video we will try to check out what changes has been made available by the developers for this new super heroes extended Actually, they are not too much, but I tried to figure out some new interesting features. Later, I did the performance testing and at the end, I tried to check all the previous bugs got fixed or not in this new build. So watch this video till the end. Now, without further delay, let's get started. On a new adventure. First of all, we will check out about device detail. So this one is the official build of Super Hero 16 for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Android version is same, it's Android 14, but this time some minor changes has been done for the Easter egg by the Google. When you try to align the green bar with the arrow, some new circular line starts to flow in the space around our spaceship. Security patch of this build is same like old build, it's of February 2024. Kana version is same like old build, its version is 4.9.337 Primus. If you want the kernel to support it kernel, please download and flash it separately via ADB side load method. The link of kernel is given under the video description. Build date of ROM is 25th February 2024, but the ROM was released on the 4th of March 24. Now let's start with the review of unique changes I found in the ROM. Under the wallpaper and style setting, we get the bunch of the icon shapes for the dock and the app drawer icons in the ROM. Round icon shapes gives the rounded look to the recent panel application and some other parts of the setting. But one thing is interesting with some icons like hexagon style gives the rectangular corner look to the recent panel applications and some options in the setting everywhere in the ROM. Under the widget section, some old pixel ROM widgets are available like battery percentage widgets but it's only showing the battery level for the device, not for the connected devices like the Bluetooth, earbuds, etc. New nice looking pixel with widget is available and it's working good. In the settings panel, Superior Lab option has a nice touch animation as you can check in the video. Under the button setting of the Superior Lab, Volume Rocker Device Wake Up Toggle was available from the last build, but in the old build it's not working, but now it's working good. In the old build there was no any face unlock setting available, but now it's added by the developers and it's working pleasant fast. So these are some features I found new as compared to the old build. Now if you ask me about the performance improvement then as per my opinion this one and the old build has nearly same performance level. Both are super smooth with the good RAM management. Geekbench scores are also nearly same like 560 and 1949 for the single and multi-core respectively for this build. While for the GPU I got the score out double to 64 and 1928 for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics respectively. As in the real life users, Geekbench or any other performance scores doesn't matter anymore, but in the real world, ROM is performing very good. Now let's check out all the previous bugs we mentioned in the old build review, resolved or not, but unfortunately, they are not. Still, we didn't get the new AI generated emojis wallpaper, and normal AI wallpaper setting in is not available under the wallpaper sense style setting. Under the miscellaneous setting of the Superior Lab, we get the Smart Pixel setting which helps to save the battery in the critical situation by shutting off the screen pixels. But like old build, still this feature not working, it's not shutting off any screen pixel even if we enable its toggle. Similarly, OT updater is not working as we shown in how to flash video. It's showing the network error even though our device connected to the network. New watch unlock feature is available under the security setting, but I never tried that. But this time I tried to set up this setting, still, it doesn't recognize my Galaxy Watch while well set up. Actually, this feature only works between Pixel Watch and Pixel phones as per their instructions. 
This is all about the second update of new series of Super Heroes Custom ROM that is Super Hero OS Extended. So as per my opinion, now developers should only continue this new series because it has rock solid stability like plain Super Hero OS with the addition of tons of customizations. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for OnePlus 6 and 60. Thanks for watching. Soonest time. Take care. Bye bye.